I haven't done a day in the life vlog in a very long time, so we're doing that today. I am the biggest homebody, so a day in the life vlog would literally just be me at home most days. I love doing makeup on others. I love the process of doing my makeup, but when it comes to actually wearing it, I'm not the biggest fan. But today, I was like, you know what? Just get over it and put some makeup on. I'm doing makeup and hair today, so I made sure to prep everything last night just to double check I have everything I need. When it comes to fragrance while I'm working, I try to be mindful of what I'm wearing, and I usually try to stick to fragrances that are soft and not overpowering. Today, I'm going with Balda Freak. It's clean, woody, slightly sweet, perfection. Got everything packed up, ready to go. It's a lot, I know, but I literally need all of this. I am completely obsessed with the new Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm in iced coffee. The iced coffee and pink sugar are my two favorites, but I think iced coffee is my number one. Before going to my client, I have to drop off my son at daycare, and by my son, I mean this guy, my three-month-old puppy. This is only his second day going to puppy daycare, and honestly, I was a bit shocked at how excited he was to go there. He knew exactly where to go, and he couldn't wait to get in there. I didn't do any of this with my first dog and it wasn't fair on him i so wish i would have done it so i'm trying to be better about doing this with max heading to my client which thankfully was only like five minutes away from max's daycare and it's a beautiful day in vancouver pulling all of this around is no joke especially when you have back problems like i do if you're ever wondering why a makeup artist charges a mobile fee or you're questioning the price of the mobile fee please keep this in mind the time spent packing unpacking and just the physical aspect of it all gets taken into consideration hair and makeup done for gorgeous cassie from entertainment tonight this segment won't be out until next year so it's gonna be a while i'm not a big water drinker arrest me but i am always so thirsty after finishing a makeup appointment heading straight back home because i have to set up my station for another makeup appointment i have tomorrow i got a delivery alert as soon as i got home and i completely forgot i ordered these yvira cookies during one of my pms meltdowns first of all they are huge second of all they are huge you're supposed to pop them in the microwave for i think it's like 30 seconds and then let it rest they have filling and they're chewy honestly if you're really into cookies you might like these but personally i find them a little too sweet got everything set up and ready to go for tomorrow i know it's not until tomorrow but i prefer to get things ready in advance and just make sure that everything is clean time to pick up my baby and you know what i've seen a lot of discourse about whether or not dog moms should be calling their dogs their babies but this is my baby. At the end of the day, you never know why someone doesn't have a child. So if I'm going to call him my baby, I'm going to call him my baby. And this is my baby. I think he's more than okay with it. Locked and loaded in his car seat because safety first, obviously. This is him within two minutes of picking him up from daycare. He is done. I know a lot of this has been about my dog, but that's just the reality of my life right now with a puppy. So let me know if you want to see more of these.